let's take a look at the three new brushes I created for Photoshop in August of 2019. The first brush is called Grass Thick, and it's found in my Nature category. This brush can use both your foreground and your background color. So you'll want to choose a shadow color and a midtone color. So I'm going to select kind of a dark green color like this, click on my background color, and choose kind of a lighter, brighter, more yellow green. Let's do a test stroke and see what we get. Get this nice grassy effect. I'm going to hit X on my keyboard, do a test stroke, and you can see that depending on which color is the foreground color, you're going to get a more dominant influence. I'm going to hit X again to toggle the color, and I'm just going to make that green a bit brighter. Something like that will work. If I use lighter pressure, then I get smaller blades of grass. And as I start to increase my pressure, my grass blades start to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, of course, I can make my brush larger. Those grass blades will be bigger. Or I can make my brush smaller, and the maximum size of that grass will be much smaller. So you could really quickly go in here and put in some grass just by painting back and forth building it up like this, using more pressure as you go into the foreground. That creates a sense of distance or perspective. And there you go, you have a field of grass without a whole lot of work. Now, of course, you wouldn't want the grass to be too flat like this. You would want there to be some character to it. So that's where the next brush comes in, which is called Grass Thin. I'll select that. I'll create a new layer to paint on. This also uses your foreground and your background color. But this time I'm going to make my colors just a bit brighter. Now I can go through here and just do some really quick little strokes. And I can make my grass stand out in a few places. And you can see I can quickly and easily go in here and add some more detail to the grass. So it's not completely flat. And the next brush that we'll take a look at is found in my painterly category. We'll scroll down a bit and it is called Knife Break. Now this brush works best with a pen that can sense barrel rotation, such as the Wacom Art Pen, because you can angle this flat dab in different directions. I'll go ahead and do a test stroke here, and you can see I can have a wider stroke, or I can rotate my dab, and I can have a thinner stroke, and I can rotate it as I'm painting to get everything in between. You may also notice if you use lighter pressure, you get more of this texture. If you use heavier pressure, then you get less of it, and you can get a range of everything in between. I'm going to go ahead and select a brownish color like this. We can put in some dirt here on our path. And you can see I can vary my pen pressure to get more or less of that paint break effect. We'll go ahead and select a lighter brown now. And here's where we can really use light pressure just to put in a few little highlights here on the dirt. If we want it to be thicker in some places, then we can use heavier pressure. I can make my color even lighter. Put in some more highlights in there on top of that. So that's one way that you could use it. If you were painting mountains, you could also use this to get kind of a nice mountain effect. And if you wanted to, you can go into the brush settings. And if you look under texture, you have some control over the different textures you can use. And there's all these different textures here. For example, we could select rock patterns. Then we have this interesting rock pattern texture that we could use. We could try this one here, or we could go back to the default brushes. And here we have the default pattern that we were using here. You can also control the scale of that pattern. I could make it finer and start to increase it, make it very large, and you can see that the scale of that pattern changes. So with that scale very high, I could even use this to put in clouds or something like that if I wanted to. So there you go, that's a look at the three new brushes I created for Photoshop in August of 2019. You can download these brushes now from AaronRutten.com.